Oh, hey guys, what's going on? I'm just out here enjoying these downtown views. But aside from this view, I wanted to come up here for a couple of other reasons. First, I look at the sign every day and I really, really wanted to climb it. But my heights have always kind of psyched me out before uh, actually doing it. And second, I wanted to climb it so much that I started to visualize the photography potential that I could get up here. And of course, I didn't have to come up here, but uh, the more I thought about it, the more I wanted to do it. And that's what usually leads me to doing stuff like this. And since I finally decided to come up here to conquer that small fear of mine, why not shoot a video between the relationship of discomfort and creativity? The two words seek discomfort really resonates with me. If you guys have ever watched Yes Theory, you should really check it out. If you do, then you know what I'm talking about. It's That's kind of their slogan, seek discomfort. I couldn't have said it any better. If you watch some of the things they do, they, they actually go out and try to put themselves in uncomfortable positions and learn from the experiences. And so I just, I love that concept, I love that idea, and I love Yes Theory for that reason. I hear the asteroids flying by So this could be your last goodbye We watch the satellites explode now, I'm not saying to go out and climb a billboard. In fact, that would be terrible advice. <laughs> but more often than not, thinking outside the box, stepping out of your comfort zone, and sometimes even taking a little bit of a risk can help someone grow as a person. It can help you grow in a creative way too. That's why I think seek discomfort is important. All right, you guys, I'm so sorry. My cannon just died. So I'll have to finish this little segment off on my phone. We're gonna head down to Hollywood now. Uh, I'm gonna meet, meet up with my friend Kyle and do a little collab shoot, uh, which will be a lot of fun. And I uh, can't wait to take you guys with me. And thank you guys all for watching, and I will see you in a minute. We're gonna run, buy a lens, and then head to shoot. Here we have the 85 1.2, probably the sharpest lens Ever known. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, look at that! Hey. I say we uh, should just be rolling this. Original rocket, please. Yeah, definitely. I'll get back for an edge. Yeah, yeah, it shouldn't be too long, guys. Thanks. Are these, are these for us? Yeah, some waters. You know, it's hot out there. There's a thing in the You have to actually like focus on not falling from these chairs. So I think it's about time I eat my slider. Do you want to be in it? Okay. You want to promote? Okay. All right. Oh, he's like, he's like a banner. Oh, I want you like filming commercial. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not selling this footage. I'm telling you that now. <laughs> Do you use drones? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sometimes uh, I do solar too. So like. I haven't needed a flyby yet, but if you have a business call, take it. Dude, real estate, do, right? You can I do, do real a life estate. Thing. Dude, those things are small. This is your first time here? Yeah. Dude, these, they're all, they're so good though. If you have the chance, try the ice cream. They have charcoal ice cream. Charcoal? It's so good, it's flat. I want two of those. Two cones, please. Thank you. Very nice, dude. Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. Try to make them nice since they're going on TV, you know? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> hey, what, what's your name? Nice to see you. Yeah, thanks, man. Nice to meet you guys. Three seats right here. Yeah. 
Kevin. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's do it the modern way. Welcome to yeah, man. Yeah, just underscore. Hammond underscore. It's like no. No, seriously. Wait, it's you have an iPhone, though, don't you? Hmm? You have an iPhone. Okay, don't make it for the iPhone, Android. <laughs> don't, don't even. Oh, you guys, you got? Nice meeting you guys. Hey, you yeah, too. Nice to meet you. Have a good night. Yeah. Take care. So it's like a, it's like a, it's like a regular frozen yogurt, and then we use the activated charcoal powder and hazelnut. And it's all right. It makes it easy. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. hazelnut, charcoal, yeah. um, and um, frozen yogurt. Frozen yogurt. Yeah, it's yeah, awesome. It's kind of cool. So good. Good. What about the cone? Oh, What's in the cone? The cone is a red velvet waffle cone. Red velvet waffle cone. Yeah, he priced it. Alright. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you for the service. Seriously, you guys. Rockin' Sliders. If you guys ever come to Hollywood, or LA for that matter, stop by here. Try one of those charcoal ice cream cones. I don't think I've had ice cream that was anywhere close to that good. I, I love. What do you think? Did you like the charcoal ice cream? I'm not even a lie, yeah, it was pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. I don't know if I can say damn or not, but I said it and it's been said. Can't do anything about it. Can't edit it, can't take do those nothing. Back. It's impossible. Actually, if you try to edit that, your computer breaks. Yeah. It's a fact. And I don't want my computer to break. They make the cones in-house, which is actually pretty cool. The cones are made in-house. They, they do them every single day, fresh. And I think there's a fixed amount, too. So if you don't get a cone, you weren't in early enough. Get there, get your cone. Look, it's too... You guys see TMZ up there? I'm trying to do this for you, okay? Chilling. Yeah. I'll see you later. Yeah. And uh, congratulations on the lens. I'm, a, I'm the new, the proud owner of a new baby. Yep. Take care of that baby. Powder that baby. Spank uh, the baby. So I'm not gonna spank the baby. Kiss the baby. I'll kiss the baby. Right. I'll rock the baby. Good. That's what that's what I like to hear. Okay, see you later, man. Enjoy. Peace. Yeah. All right, you guys. Thank you for joining. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.